Hi everybody, this is Brazy. Welcome to a Speak Your Truth video blog. I've got three words for you. Disclosure, exposure, and composure. Now don't worry, I'm not going to start uh, wearing gold chains and slapping bitches or anything like that. What I'm talking about here is, I think we're entering a new age. You know, I've heard this said by a whole bunch of different people. We're entering this new period of time after, especially after 2012, where we're, we've got a whole period of disclosure happening. You've seen Bradley Manning, obviously, and the obvious ones. We started probably with people like Lance Armstrong, and we saw the Libus scandal, and, and obviously now we've got Edward Snowden, and all this sort of thing occurring, where we've got massive amounts of disclosure, and we've got information now just coming left, right, and center, where we're actually finding out about what's been really going on uh, on on this globe of ours or on this on this consciousness of ours that we've been living in and we've been finding out that there's been a lot of you know dodgy stuff going on and that's obviously been exposing uh, the, the the sort of dark elements that have been at play or just the controlling elements or the elite elements that have been uh, con controlling us for some time which is which has all been sort of fair enough and a lot of people might say you know it's been a, it's been a happy day for the for the so-called condemned conspiracy theorists because they can start to feel some comfort but I think the thing that we've got to do is we've got to keep our composure we've really got to be able to sit here now and start to say all right as as the reaction, as the empire strikes back, which they will do, and I think they are starting to do now, we've got to keep our composure and we've got to stay in our heart centers and not become too fearful. And we've just got to allow it all to pass. And we've got to be, be a part of it and start to look after our own bits of turf and be, be confident that this period of disclosure is essential. And there's going to be many more things to come. Now, I've been reading the news over the last week and I just wanted to to keep an eye on, on, on things that are starting to occur. Now, I noticed, check this article out from New Zealand. There you go. In New Zealand, they're saying it's okay, the government there, the Prime Minister saying it's okay to spy on people because they know there's a couple of their residents that have been doing some training with Al-Qaeda. And when I read it, I was like, this is a really strange story they want to justify and, and this is sort of like what what uh, sociopaths do they deny they deny and then they justify a bit like uh, what Lancey Armstrong did you know Lance Armstrong was all like deny deny I'm not taking drugs I'm not taking drugs oh but everyone else was doing it uh, and then he came out this year and he said oh but you know I, I've still won all those titles and everyone was going mate you're off your head you know, they, those titles have been stripped away from you. So you, you've got this deny, deny, justify thing that these sociopaths do. And when I saw this article come out of New Zealand, I was like, are these guys for real? They're going to justify, they're going to justify spying on their people because of al Qaeda, People that have been, you know, that the United States Army, okay, the cabal-controlled army, is actually backing in Libya. So then I thought I'd have a look at some more news. Have a look in Australia now. There's fears, of course, that there have been some connections from... Reef, and this is all very recently, about some connection to uh, Al-Qaeda and Australia, and how Australia may not be closing down its embassies. Ch check out this uh, article. So once I started to see some, some news connecting, Al-Qaeda started to pop up. Then all of a sudden, this morning, we, we saw the news come out where literally uh, we all know that the, what went on in Benghazi around the, the September time. We literally saw Kevin Rudd come out today and say, I'm going to have my uh, announced his election on the same day that they're shutting down all the embassies uh, in, in the Middle East, etc., out of fear that Al-Qaeda was going to attack them, you know, coming up to the end of Ramadan. So we're getting this sort of fear campaign start, starting to occur, and it's just literally coming through the media. Now, I don't know what they're scared of. They control our LCIA. That's what disclosure was all about. So I think what we're seeing here is another sort of Kim Jong-un 
type scenario where they try to scare the world into being absolutely fearful. So again, it's this, this idea that we've had that much Edward Snowden disclosure started to come out that they sort of have to fight back and justify it. So you literally got to tick off what are all the bad things that the, uh, the cabal, you know, Israel, Britain, France, and of course the United States and, 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 their, and their banking entities have actually done recently. And then I saw this other article where they started to say there was a prison break uh, from Abu Ghraib. Abu Ghraib a prison and and 1500 so-called Al Qaeda they they call them Al Qaeda people came out of uh, this prison break and then I started to connect the dots and I think they tend to call uh, Al Qaeda Al Qaeda whenever they like but when Al Qaeda people are wearing the masks and and waving their flags and they're ripping the, the hearts out of people in in Syria they call them rebels and when Al Qaeda are waving their flags and throwing people off the tops of uh, buildings and, and children and, and women in Egypt, they, they call them uh, protesters. So it seems to be that Al Qaeda get called Al Qaeda only when it really does suit the international media, or it, it obviously suits uh, the United States or, or, or the cabal as we like to call them. So I think what we've really got to uh, you know look, look inside our hearts here and say to ourselves, what, what's really going on is we're starting to see all of the ducks in a row line up where the so-called sociopaths that are in control have come out and said, all right, how can we justify um, what we're doing, spying on people? All right, we'll do another big uh, Al-Qaeda uh, you know, rerun. And it's the same MO. And then we literally go, okay, we'll, we'll justify Al-Qaeda, we'll justify Benghazi, uh, we'll justify uh, Abu Ghraib, we'll justify torturing people, we'll justify absolutely everything in one foul swoop. And that's what starts to worry me, is we've had so much disclosure, we've had so much exposure, and now I believe we're, we've got to keep our composure because the empire is literally going to strike back and strike back with probably another one of their false flags or they just like to generate fear of a potential false flag event to justify all the bad things that they've done. Hey, this is Brazy. Keep your eyes open because I think we've got some interesting times ahead.